appointment for their second dose of the COVID vaccine, worried they might miss the deadline. The county says they'll help. Well, today, our Kitty Alvarado visited a site that's dedicating all their resources to getting people that second dose. This is no ordinary COVID vaccine site. It's a special by appointment only second dose vaccine clinic. It's being held at the Indio Fairgrounds. Those do are frontline workers, doctors, nurses, and firefighters. Jeannie Parafan, a nurse practitioner from Indio, was among the first to get the vaccine. But scoring a second dose has been a challenge. We had actually spent um, quite a few weeks after our first dose trying to figure out how we were getting the second dose. With 7% of the 2.4 million residents already receiving a first dose, everyone in line for a second dose would wreak havoc on the system. So instead, the county is contacting people when they're due and giving them special access to their own site. We were pretty relieved that we weren't having to struggle to uh, find a place. Cathedral City Fire Chief John Murr also got that email and just received his second dose. He says the process has been working great for his department that's now 50% vaccinated. We have the experience of seeing chaos and coming in and trying to pick up the pieces after the fact. And I'll tell you what, they, they're doing an amazing job. Michael Lozier, the county assistant director of public health and incident commander for vaccine response, says their goal is to now do 25% of appointments for second doses. Now, the second doses are not publicized. We send it directly to the people that received the first dose. So we don't put it on the website. They get a special invitation just to be sure that they can get the second dose. Also important, don't think you've been forgotten if you don't get that email right away. And for those stressed about second doses, again, we're, we're just rolling this out now. We're going to do our very best to get everyone within the 42 days. Like, we're not going to promise 21 or 28 days, but the CDC does allow us to go up to 42 days. He says the county is now getting steady shipments of 23,000 doses a week. And this week, they'll get a little extra, so appointments will increase temporarily by 25%. So could use four times more vaccine than we're receiving, but we're making do with what we have. And again, we're getting an extra bolus of vaccines next week. We're very excited about to get even more people vaccinated. In Indio, Kitty Alvarado, NBC Palm Springs. And county officials say they expect to have administered vaccines to all Riverside County residents who want one by at least the end of the summer. The county is releasing more vaccine appointments. It's important to note they're only for people 80 years or older right now. Seven of those clinics are in the Coachella Valley, one at the Indio Fairgrounds. We've received calls into our newsroom from people saying they made an appointment even though they don't meet that age requirement. But county officials tell us last week was just a transition period. And going forward, the age limit will be strictly enforced. Johnson & Johnson applies for an emergency use authorization from the FDA for its single-dose coronavirus vaccine. It released data last week showing its vaccine is about 66%